Okay, so let's take this out. Oh, boom, there we go. There's a gas and everything rushing into there. So. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears for another update. Um, since the last episode, I've made a few changes to my base. Um, I had last update. It's only the first CO2 filter. I've got two more, so that's fine. Um, we made some changes to the solar panels. Um, after a bit of a weirdness, I went on with a point in the wrong direction. Don't know why that happened. Um, I've just painted some of this. I built myself another tank to go in there, so when you just drop the tank in and pull it back out, it doesn't fill up properly. But this one's sat in there all the time. It will be completely full, and I'll just swap them over now. But yeah, paint that white just to show it's oxygen. You may notice there's some additional room around here, so I'll go and show you that in a second. Um, just make sure I've got everything I need. So water is low. Let's just deal with that before we go outside. Hydration critical. Oh, and there we go. As if by magic. Have a quick slurp of water. And then a bit of food. But there we go. Turn that on, let's refill it. It's done. Right, out we go. Um, another change I made was to increase that uh, battery charger to a five slot rather than just a two slot. Get some air out here. There we go. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've expanded my base a bit. Um, I've got no windows in here yet. I ran out of silicon. Um, I'm probably going to expand this out and push that pipe further out or to the angle. I need a water tank somewhere in here because I am going to be putting some hydroponics trays in. Um, I've just sealed this bit off for the moment so that. Um, to three by two in there is sealed because when I break through, I don't the pressure to drop too far, and I will need to slowly increase the pressure in there uh, so I don't affect the temperature too much. You notice this glass is a bit different, and these walls are a bit different. These are um, steel wall frames now, uh, which are composites so of plastic instead of iron, so it's steel frame, plastic sheet, and uh, then glass. So they just get like a honeycomb effect on these ones. Uh, but like I say, I'm missing a few here. But I do want to put another um, frame in there and push these walls out a bit more. What else have I done? Um, I have had to rejig my power a little bit. I want to, in this session, put a, airlock, a proper airlock in here where you just press the button and doors open and shut. And it does everything for you. In order to do that, I've had to re re reroute the power. You can't take the power sort of halfway down the doors on the alternative doors which are going to fit the automatic doors rather than the manual doors so I've had to run the power um, out up here you can only run down up here really um, which meant I do oops mess around with just close that mess around with this power came in here I had to move that um, power control unit from over there to over here and then run the high power cables around this way so I can actually run that cable in. Um, let me just check my solar panels. They're pointing straight up. When the sun comes up, I want to check which way they're pointing. Because if they're pointing in the wrong direction again, then I'm confused. Because I've found last couple of times when I've loaded the game, um, I've had to literally take that up, put it back down, then go and set up these again to get the point in the right, point in the right direction. Otherwise, they have been pointing 180 degrees out. So if it does it that this time, I'm going to try something different with a programmable chip, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how it, what happens when it loads. Um, anything else I've done? No, I think that's about it for now. We still haven't had any storms. Oh yes, I know what I did. I put a vent on here, and I vented all the gas. The gas in here was down to about 750 degrees, which was no use to me. It's then not hot enough to smelt anything. But to be fair, it smelted quite a bit, and every time you put ore in here, it cools the gas down a bit. Unless you put silver, I think it is, which heats it up. But um, generally, it cools the gas, so eventually the gas gets too cold to be usable. So I just stuck a vent in here, and I vented it. So, um, that can be closed now. Closed, that closed, that closed. Can't remember, one of the two. Um, so yeah, that's what's been done in the background. So what I want to do is actually close this door. 
open this one and I want to break through in here um, pressure in here is 94 kilopascals so it'll drop slightly um, okay so let's take this out and boom there we go there's a gas and everything rushing into there oh I'll save me having to move them um, pressure is down to 63, 64 what ride you out at about 67 probably 69, not too bad I guess. Move that, I don't want to inadvertently take out one of these windows because it'll just bend the hell up and see. Um, there we go, so I'm actually through into there now. I've expanded my base. I want to get rid of that rubble, that earth there. I hate it. <laughs> In fact, let's just do that. Get rid of it. Why it does that? I don't know why it does it. Because of, um, I'm building a bit too close to the ground, so let's get rid of that. I don't want to see it. I'm sure you don't either. That at all? That's it all. It's a quick job. Um, I also went and did some mining, and I got some copper, some iron. I made some more steel so I can make these frames and things. But what I did miss was silicon. I do need more silicon for those additional windows. So let's just uh, while we're here, press T to place. Pick that up. Press T to place. To see it rotate. Oh no, I can't just. There we go. Just need that to charge that battery. That looks okay. Um, yeah, so now I've taken that out, I can take the rest of these three walls out. So take that glass out. Take that glass out. Now the angle. Oh, and I still need the crowbar to take the iron sheets off. There we go. Take them out. Now the angle grinder. Just to remove these walls. Uh, yeah, I didn't have enough of either the steel or the iron to do it all at once, so it's a bit of a mixture of both. Mixture of both at the minute, so it looks a bit naff, but it's the best I can do. I could do so. Let's just dump them in there. Don't need them on me. Can I paint those white? Don't look any better if I paint them white. You know what they do. So I might just paint. Out of paint, sorry. No, well, it would look better if I had more paint. I might have to just get some panels and stick them up here. Uh, yeah, I can build, make some more flat panels, white flat panels, stick them up there. So, um, right, now I've done that and I'm happy with the pressure in here. What I will do to temperature 26, so I'm just going to close this, turn this on. Zero. Open that. I just let that suck a bit of air into there for now. Not too much because I don't want it to overfill, but enough. Um, let's just see. I want wall, flat wall kit. So I've built two of them. sheet cup of steel, steel sheet sorry there we go so stick them on there and on here have I got anything in here have I got paint white paint it's just oh no it needs iron okay that should be enough on here for now let's try and see what happens what the pressure and temperature like Obviously, because every time you push cold air in here, it brings the temperature down. So we are now at 22 degrees C. That's okay. That's about where I was expecting to be. Right, these flat walls. Just stick one there. One there. And I believe it's steel sheets. Yeah. Oh, it's going to have a frame shape on it. Okay, let's just quickly undo that. I want it to be completely flat. I know you can do it with these ones. Large panel, large arrow, plating. Is it that one? Let's quickly try, see what it looks like. 
Uh, still a bit of. Yeah, you know what? It'll do. Plating, small panel hatch, small panel arrow. Two tone. No. That one. So that's the same one as the first time we put up. Oh no, that's it. Okay, no, that looks alright. Oh, I'm happy with that. I can make that like an access panel look like an access panel. So sun is coming up. Um, obviously, once I push that out, I'll move all the plants over. How are we doing with these plants? Uh, okay, so they look like they're grown, but they've only given me one potato each. Keep an eye on for now. See if they do anything else. Um, right, I've done what I wanted to do. What's giving off gas over here? Oh, it's my air conditioning unit. What's that doing to my? Minus eighty four. What was the? Minus 78, so I'll turn it off for the moment. So just stop that. I don't want um, water, uh, fluid to build up in here. You know, I've got the fluid drain on there. It will slowly drain the pressure in that. Yeah, see, we're down to 7... 700 kPa. I might have to top that back up again. Okay, airlock, airlock. I've been talking about this bloody airlock for ages. <laughs> now it's time to do it. So, there are two ways to do an airlock. So you get an airlock card, I believe. Advanced airlock, yeah. When you start the game, which you can use in the console. Um, I don't particularly like using that because it drains the gas down and it tops it back up and you've got to say what temperature, what pressure you want it at. And uh, yeah, I just don't like use it. And to be honest, I prefer programming my own. So to do that, I need a gas sensor. I have a green a LED in here, which will shine green or red, depending on whether the chamber is in operation or not. Um, a button on the wall to press, which activates the doors either way, whether you're going in or going out. It automatically works out which way you're going and does it. And then you have an IC housing with an IC chip in it. And that controls everything in here. So the first thing we want is the sensor kit. And our button. Okay. So the button I will stick to make sure I get the right button. So to that one, I'll stick that there. I will stick our gas sensor there with it facing the connection facing that way. I've got two um, gas sensors. I don't need to do that. Oh. Um, what have we got? How I see housing. The LED oh. in the I see housing. Stick out my backpack so I have to keep coming back. So this is a lamp but when you select it you can roll, uh, roll through to the LED. Well change it to the LED. Put that in there. I see housing, it only has two connections, one at the top, one at the bottom, one network and one power. Um, I'll stick that about there so I can just run the cable around it and then just wire all that in. So, that connected to there and then the button connected. connected to there we need to connect up uh, no I don't have done yet okay okay sure so what I'm missing here currently is I need to change the doors so I'm just going to stick this cabling in so now it goes uh, 
And then that goes across there. So that's everything wired together currently. What I need to do is I need to change my doors. So I'll do the outside one first. Close that. Suck the gas back in. Well, I'm here, I'll swap my battery over. Right, remove the outside door. I think it's. Is it that? No, it's the grinder. Steal the sheet, and then. Right. Oh, steel sheet. In the wrong place. There we go. Now you reuse this door kit, it's the same door kit, you just change it to a up for the composite one. And if you look here on this side there's some connections, power and network. On this side there's not. So on the power network, go to the inside. There we go. Then I believe it's plastic sheeting. Uh, and glass with the crowbar. There we go. So now because I've got the power connected on the inside, if I hit that, that door will open. Well, let me just dump that. Oh, shit's on that side. Never mind. So that door's now automatic. You don't need to use a crowbar. If there's no power to it, you've got to use a crowbar. But for now, I can just hit the button and it'll open and close. So close that one again. And now I want to open this one. And do the same with this one. So, crowbar. No, angle grinder. Get the steel sheet. Drill. And then replace this. That door's the wrong way around. Currently, the connections are on this side. So the connection on the right side. If I go forward, come on. There we go, it's yellow, which means a little thing. Um, plastic sheets. Welder. Glass. Crowbar. And there we have our new doors, which are now automatic doors. So that's that bit done. What I need to do now is program the chip so all this works together and the switch along with the switch. So, where's my laptop? Here's my laptop. Open that. Get my chip. I'll put that there. Now I could do this one or two ways. I have already written, previously written, a airlock with an LED. Um, or I could do it myself now. So, bear with me. <laughs> So the first things we have to do is assign the hardware devices so the inlet vent, the outlet vent, inner door, outer door, gas sensor and button. Alias AL sensor D0 D0 lower case alias AL switch D1 alias in a AL in a door D2 alias AL motor door D3 alias AL in a event D4 alias AL outer event D5. Now, what that's doing is a six connections to the chip, and that's just identifying what the six connections are. So the first thing I want to do is main. 
and that is a section of code which I can repeat. So in this I want to load to R0 which is a variable the state of the AL switch. So AL switch Why is that? Because I'm putting SL instead of AL switch open. No, it's not open. Bear with me, let's just save that for a moment. F1 switch switch. Not that switch. No, the button switch. Lever, logical right. So it might be the switch. Um, now it'll be button, won't it? Button. It's that one. Um, activate. So edit. Activate. So that's gone orange because that's as true variable for AL switch. So what I'm doing is I'm loading the activate status um, into variable R0. Break if equal R0 1. So what I'm saying is that reading is 1 which means the button's been activated. I want to break to um, door con yeah. Door control. No, actually, I'm going to do something. I'm going to change that to start because it is really the start, and I'm going to call this main. And call that main. So start load to activate the status of the switch. If it's been pressed, it jumps to main. If it's not been pressed, it passes by that and will jump to start. So what'll happen then? It'll just keep going round and round and round and round and round when that switch is activated. What I need to do is add yield. So yield just pauses one clock cycle. So that's just checking the state of that switch every clock cycle. Once that switch is activated, what I want to do is um, load R1, sorry, R1, um, EL in uh, door open. So what I'm doing is I'm checking to see if the inner door is open in this one. Um, so bear with me again, I just need to check the variable for that. Um, door kit, glass door, composite door. Open, one device is open, zero device is closed. So if I put um, break if equals R1 equals 1, then I want to jump to um, exit. Let me use that. Exit, yep. Yeah. So now that's exit. So if the inner door is open, I must be exiting the um, building. So if not, I want to jump to entry and I'll put entry down here so in this case um, again I need to yield in here just to wait a cycle just to make sure things everything's working um, if I push the button it will jump to main first thing it does is the inner door open yes jump to x x x in the building no jump to entry because we're entering the building. So exit. 
we're exiting the building, the first thing we want to do is save to L in uh, door. Open zero. So what we're saying is we're going to save to the L in a door the value zero. That will close the inner door. Um, save. I just want to add something quickly in here. Save batch. LED. Because I've got enough slots, um, I've got six slots which aren't enough to connect everything including the LED, I'm just going to reference the prefab pouch, which will basically every LED on our network um, has a prefab pouch, which is just a, a, a number, a, random, uh, a number for LED lights. And I want to set the colour to green while it's just cycling through and then red once the doors that air looks been activated so currently two is green four is red um, edit so prefash prehab the hash number <laughs> this is American so it'll colour Shift color. Why is that not lighting up? Do, do, do. Why is it not turning orange? I'll tell you why, because I'm being stupid. Yeah, it needs to be capitalized. Color two. So that will just turn the LED two. But it needs to be on to begin with, so I just turn it on white at the moment. But now it's turned on permanently. Um, edit. So, yeah, so start. Has it switch being activated? Hydration critical. Okay, set the colour to. I'm going to move that. Put that there. I don't know my hydration. Oxygen low. Here we go. Close. Lock. Put that back. Turn that on. Alright, so where we start. Set the LED to green. Check the switch status. If the switch is being activated, jump to main. Main, is the inner door open? Yes, jump to exit because we're exiting the building. No, jump to entry because we're entering the building. So exit. Close the inner door. Um, set batch. Color to four, which is red. So that sets the LED to red. One clock cycle in there. Load R3 with the AL sensor pressure. So I'm loading the pressure from the sensor. Um, break if equal. Break if second so term is for less than um, BL a branch not break. So branch two line if less than so branch two um, okay, BLT. So 
So, is the pressure less than all zero, less than zero, less than one? So I'm just checking that the pressure is below one kilopascal. And jump to 27. If it's not less than 27, if it's not, sorry, um, if it's not less than 1 kpi, kpa, then we want to jump back to the start of this section to exit. So jump exit. So let's run through that again. Load the closing the door. Set the light color to red. Check the pressure. Or load the pressure in the uh, airlock. If it is less than one, jump to line 27. If it's not less than one, it goes to line 26 and jumps to exit. So if it is less than one, then we can save. Do, do, do. I'll tell you I didn't do. <laughs> Save ale in a vent on to one. All right, so that needs to be twenty-eight. So sorry, let me run through this again. Exit. So if we're exiting the building, closing a door, set the LED color to red, turn the inner vent on so we're sucking the gas out of it and putting it back in our um, room. Load the pressure in our airlock. Check that pressure. Is it less than one? Yes. Jump to line 28. No. Go to line 27, which jumps back to here. So that loops and the pressure is less than one. Once the pressure is less than one, we want to save the L in a vent zero. So turn off the inner vent. On to zero. Turn off the inner vent. Save out AL out door. Let's check out. Open to one. So that will open the outer door. Save batch. Drop that, colour 2, and then jump to start. Let me just quickly copy this over to the next one. Going in is just the same, except we cover the outer to the inner. So if we just if we copy all this at once. No, okay, I'll just quickly type it up. Save AL, go to door. Open to zero. This B to red. Save L. Go to vent on to one. Load R three EL sensor pressure branch of less than R three. So I looked at that. That's R three, not R zero. It's that variable there. R three less than one. Then you want to go to line forty. Right, I'll jump to N3. Um, line 40 will be save AL uh, out vent. Power low.
Nail out of vent. Oh, one to zero, turn off the vent. Nail. Save. Nail out of door. Open to one. Save batch. So let's save the LED to turn the LED to two to green. Green. And then jump to start. Right. Let's see if that works. Confirm. Now what I'm going to do quickly here is just save. Because if it goes horribly wrong, <laughs> I don't want to um, depressurize my building. So, I put the chip in. Uh, I don't know if you saw what I did then, sorry, let me just go back a bit. Um, once you've finished writing your code, you confirm and you export to the chip. And then you can take the chip and plug it in. Now I need to set the inputs. So if I turn this on with flash orange, um, it says no device. Why is that not asking me for a device? Have I made a boo boo? It's a couple of D. Expecting that to I can't remember what I said it to now, sorry. Um Hail Center. Oh I'll tell you what part of the problem is as well. Yep, it's turned off at the moment. I need to name these so a yeah, button a yeah, in an event a yeah, out to vent Sensor Yeah outer outer door Yeah inner door I put the wrong door in it, doesn't matter, it'll still work the same. Yeah, but the glass door and air stuff comes to the door, doesn't matter. Alright, try again. I should. Be able to say an AL in event, out event, button, center. That was the first thing. Switch in a door. Yeah, button, switch, same thing. In a door. Out a door. In event, out event. Out a door. In event. Out event. Now why are you not working? Why are you not working? I 
export. I'll recognize the structure line 18. Okay, go to line 18. Uh, entry. Doesn't like that. Entering, it's called entering. Of um, export, it might be because it's a uh, um, already used word. Line 18, why don't you like line 18 this time? Um, come in, come in, confirm, export. Oh, it's still like that line 18 for the room. Current flashing an error. Error unrecognized instruction on line that is 18, not 16, isn't it? 18. Well, that's confusing the shit out of me. Start, yeah, 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 So main yield its weight load R1 and a door open. If R1 equals 1, that means it's open during the exit. Why is it going to that one if it needs to be? B E Q. Hunger caution. Ah, oh, it's lying, is it? So let's say come in is on thirty three. Oh no, twenty. Jump to twenty. Let's try that. Like line eighteen does it so Let's edit it, let's Oh no why? I've been really dim today. I need to jump, that's why. <laughs> so I can leave that as exit. Oh, you guys, I should actually put the jump in there to make it a jump to here. So, confirm. Export. It's all a bit of trial and error sometimes, especially if you're not a programmer. There we go, we've got a nice green light going on. So we know that first loop's working well. It's going to do a quick save just to make sure. I think I've got everything lined up now to tell me what they all are in yellow. So AL center, AL sensor, AL switch, AL button, that's fine. AL in a door, AL in a door, AL out a door, AL out a door, AL in event, AL in event, AL out event, AL out event. So, fingers crossed, boom. Door shuts, light goes red, vent comes on, pressure drops, out a door opens, and we've got a green light. So it worked going that way, Let's see if it works going back. 
it all should. It's red light comes on, vent comes on. And we're stuck. Why are we stuck? Flashing an error, line 39. So, oh, well, I need you anyway, so let's see if we have to go pick it up. Oh, turn that off. I'm bent my atmosphere. Line 39. Uh, jump to come in. No, I don't want to jump to come in, does it? I want to jump to exit. No, come in. Yeah, that's right. Confirm. That's what it was. Export. Alright, let's just try the game. I'm going to pick my laptop this time because I'm blowing outside. Hit the button. Door shut. Vent comes on. Red light. Green light. Oh, a door opens. Go back. Door shuts. Red light. Okay, it's still an issue there. So we come in, oh the door open, zero, set light colour to four, which should be red. Set out vent on, load R3 out sensor, yeah. Rate of less than, if R3 is less than one, jump to 40. Um, if it's more than one, Jump to come in, so it just loops around there, and the pressure's down. Set out of vent to zero, out of door open to one. Air tank low. Color to green, jump to start. Why'd that not work? Weird. Have I missed something? Have I missed a yield or Yep, I missed a yield. That's just a clock cycle to make sure you pass it there, uh, you go through a clock cycle. Uh, sorry about the noise, guys. Uh, window cleaner decided to turn up and stop banging around while I uh, was in the middle of recording. Apologies about that. So, um, yeah, if I go back to this, I think it's just a yield that was causing the issue. It wasn't allowed to go through a clock cycle. So, if I try now. Nope, it's still doing it. Why are you doing it? What's going wrong? Somebody looking isn't going at this, you idiot. Let me check again. Come in. So this is entering the building. Yield. Wait one the clock cycle. Outer door. Shut it. Set light to red. Set the outer vent on. Load the pressure from the outer vent. If the vent pressure is less than one, jump to line 40. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I see what I've done. Um, That needs to be 41. I was jumping to there and then going back to start. It really needed to jump to there. Um, export. Okay, I'm still confused at what's going on. So I want to open the inner door, not the outer door. But well, this is why we test these things. Right, try for about a fifth time. 
There we go. There we go, it's working now. A little bit of trial and error. So just check it again. The door shuts, vent comes on, pressure drops, out the door opens, and out we go. Come back in, hit the button, out the door shuts, vent comes on, and the door opens. Woohoo! There we go, we've now got a working door. The only thing is, I hate it being this colour, especially with the green light in there. So what I'm going to do, quickly, is how much I'm going to low on here, food and everything. I've got no time. Uh, where are we? Here we are. Let's go to wall. What four of those? Power critical. And I need to replace my battery. Three, four steel sheets. Four of those. One, two, three, and four. Alright. I can't really see what the pattern is on these. Um, the window, one type four, three, two, and do. And then. Oh, it's composite, it's composite. And that just hides all the gubbins. So now we just got a nice, clean, tidy airlock. Which we can run in and out of to the heart's content. Sun's up, I want to have a look at these solar panels quickly while I remember. So. Which way are they pointing? They're pointing the right way. Woohoo! It worked this time, thank goodness. I don't know why it's not been working. So that's good. Still no um, storm coming. I must have to check. I'm going to have to check the settings. Um, I can't remember turning the storm off. I can't believe I turned the storm off. The part of the game, they're quite interesting. What I do need though is some glass, uh, some silica. So let's quickly go and mine some silica. It's always a bit fun to find. Oh no, there's some straight away below us. Okay. Let's go down this hole here, it's the closest thing to it. See how these lenses make life so much easier when I try to find stuff. I've dug all these holes in the train by the way and I need to fill them in at some point because uh, I'm going to be setting up Amy which is like a robot, a mining robot and um, that will go out and mine for me and bring the stuff back and just dump it into a vending machine to begin with come on, dig it out so, um, eventually I'll build sorters to sort everything out in their own um, storage unit that takes quite a bit of time and then we can build some rockets and go out and explore the local environment. But for that we need lots of fuel which is uh, volatiles and oxygen or nitrous oxide to uh, get our rocket into space. Is that all the silicon there? How much is that? 50? Uh, I'm just going to dig this while we're here. Uh, but these are all things for the future. For now we just want to... Should have been. For now we just want to uh, get a safe place and I need to start building some proper hydro hydration critical ponics bays which means I need to finish expanding that base sideways. No, just dig straight up. I can't be bothered now. Hunger critical. 
Anti-critical. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anti-critical. Wow, everything's critical all of a sudden. Turn them off while they off. Close. Hit the button. So, the most urgent one, I guess, is the air tank. There we go. Water. Oxygen low. Food. No idea, we're out of water, it would seem. So, I do have some water ice on me. Um, a can can go in here. We will use these cans when we start pr processing our own food. That's charge, stop that on that. I go back to there. How are you doing? You still growing? No, you're only going to be one potato. Are you? Oh no, one potato. One potato. Potato seeds. Awesome, that's what I wanted. So you can plant either the seeds or the potatoes and it will grow. How much water is in there? 10 litres, that's okay. How are you doing? Uh, 12 litres, 7 litres. Let's leave that to run. So guys, I think we're going to leave it there for this session. Um, we've actually got an airlock sword. Might cut some of that messing around out. But uh, yeah, so we've got an airlock sword. We've expanded our base a little bit. We're bringing the temperature up slowly. And the temperature's up at 28. So let's get the air conditioning unit back on. So we're now at 28 degrees in here. I need to bring the pressure up a little bit more. Um, Can I do that? What am waiting? No, I'm going to leave for that now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'd really like to grow this channel a bit more. Um, even if you don't want to subscribe, please leave me a like. It, it all helps. Um, and I appreciate your support. Strong fly. Wishing you good night.